Forbidden City was a curiosity, it was a novelty, uh, it was exotic, it was a, a well-known, it was a universally well-known. Quite a scandalous place to be going because you had uh, showgirls who were only partly dressed, I mean, with skimpy costumes and so on. And um, so this would be kind of a daring place to go. <laughs> Every day is a different, different kind of fun. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it was there. every day is like different a kind of fun. Like a three-ring circus every yeah. day. <laughs> no kidding. No kidding. Yeah. There's something <laughs> going on. There. Oh, there's something going on. Wasn't this or that, this or that. <laughs> of course, what we did in the 30s and 40s were shocking to the Chinese community and confusing for the uh, Caucasian people. They've never seen Oriental do this type of, you know, of singing and dancing. This was something new for everybody, even for ourselves it was new. No one took us very seriously until the Forbidden City opened its doors. So we said, come on, let's show the world our stuff. Paris, wait to Paris, wait to Paris, he's awesome.